So let us start our discussion on WBC disorder, white cell disorders. We are doing pathology and uh, this is being done from medium Robins. White cell disorders, mein, there are different categories. So either it will be leukopenias. So when we uh, use the word leukopenia, that basically means that the count of WBCs are low. So white cell Okay, I got deficiency here any of the white cells. We'll talk about them. So if there is deficiency, then the word for deficiency that we use is penias, leukopenias. Okay. And there will be conditions when the WBCs proliferate more than normal. And this is then the proliferative disorders. And these proliferative disorders can be non-neoplastic, which are reactive, and they can be neoplastic in a tumorous fungus. So it depends upon what we are talking about. Either WBCs count will be down or they will be more. If they are more, it can be simply reactive, such as uh, a reaction because of an infection, for example, or it can be malignant. Now, those which ones are malignant are obviously more dangerous. Okay, uh, We'll deal with them one by one. सारी चीजें हमने डिस्कस करनी है टुडे इस टॉपिक वुड बी ल्यूकोपेनिया यानी वो कंडीशंस जिसमें डब्ल्यूबीसी काउंट कम होता है ओके रिएक्टिव प्रोलिफरेशन इन रिस्पांस टू प्राइमरी ऑफ एन माइक्रोबियल डिजीज इज वेरी वेरी कॉमन यानी आपको कोई भी इंफेक्शन हुआ और उस इंफेक्शन के साथ आपके डब्ल्यूबीसी काउंट रिस्पॉन्ड करके बढ़ गया ऑब्वियसली जब इंफेक्शन होगा दीज आर द सोल्जर्स ऑफ योर बॉडी इनमें प्रोलिफरेशन होनी है एंड द काउंट ऑफ द डब्ल्यूबीसी विल बी रेस्ड इस तरह के काउंट बढ़ने को हम नाम देते हैं रिएक्टिव प्रोलिफरेशन यानी कोई डब्ल्यूबीसी में प्राइमरी डिसऑर्डर है नहीं आई मीन कंसीडर कि कंडीशन कोई ऐसी हो जिसमें आपके डब्ल्यूबीसी में कोई न्यूओप्लास्टिक चेंज हो एंड देयर प्रोलिफरेशन इंक्रीजेस दिस इज न्यूओप्लास्टिक सो न्यूओप्लास्टिक डिसऑर्डर्स आर लेस कॉमन एज कंपेयर टू रिएक्टिव प्रोलिफरेशन बट दे आर ऑब्वियसली मोर डेंजरस द कॉज ये जो नॉन न्यूओप्लास्टिक कंडीशंस थी ये ऑब्वियसली आपको डे टू डे बेसिस पे काफी ज्यादा देखने में मिलती है अपनी क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस में कोई भी पेशेंट इन्फेक्शन के साथ आता है उसको फीवर है आप उसका ब्लड काउंट्स करवाते हैं यू फाइंड डब्ल्यू बी सीज रेज ओके इट्स वेरी वेरी कॉमन हाउवर जो न्यूप्लास्टिक डिसऑर्डर्स हैं दे कॉज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली नाइन परसेंट ऑफ ऑल द कैंसर डेट्स इन दी एडल्स एंड स्टैगरिंग फोर्टी परसेंट इन चिल्ड्रन सो दे आर मोर कॉमन इन चिल्ड्रन अंडर फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज डब्ल्यू बी सी न्यूप्लाजम वेरी वेरी कॉमन ओके Present in next are brief accounts of some of these disorders. Today we are going to discuss uh, leukopenias. It's a condition. मैंने जैसे आपको बताया introductory paragraph में where the WBC counts are actually reduced than normal, and obviously this is a non-neoplastic condition. Okay, यानी cancerous condition नहीं है. Leukopenia uh, WBCs कम हो जाएंगे. Results. most commonly from a decrease in granulocytes yani aapke jo granulocytes hain such as neutrophils the most numerous circulating white cells and these you know different types of white cells there are neutrophils for example there are lymphocytes for example bahut sare white cells aapke hain na unme sabse jo abundant hain the most numerous they are the granulocytes and the granulocytes uh, ka count kam hone se i mean there will be implications we'll talk about them in a minute now Uh, this is the most common form granulocyte ki deficiency okay lymphocyte ki deficiency has also been reported but it is less common as compared to the deficiency of granulocyte and it is uh, you know more reported lymphocyte deficiency in such uh, conditions such as hiv human immune infection or if you are treating somebody with uh, very very high doses of corticosteroids so in these conditions what you think about is ke jo lymphocytes hain unka number kam ho jayega so when we say lymphocytes it means t cells and b cells t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes sides only the more common leukopenias of granulocytes are discussed in the text here and not the uh, rarest of the rare conditions okay now let's talk about uh, so the broader term you must understand what is leukopenia leukopenia is the deficiency of wbcs ab wbcs kai tarah ke hain wbcs can be neutrophil wbcs are also lymphocytes so jo neutrophils hain unke bare mein hum baat karenge ki agar neutrophil ki deficiency hai to usse hum kya naam denge neutropenia so now you have to make a difference here ki leukopenia is a more broader terminology it says about wbcs deficiency neutropenia is a very specific terminology it talks about deficiency of particularly neutrophils okay a reduction in the number of granulocyte ab granulocyte bolo ya neutrophil bolo almost interchangeable word hai okay and their deficiency is known as neutropenia or when severe a granulocytosis a granulocytosis ka matlab ye hai ki bilkul hi neutrophils kam hai theek hai 
Neutropenic persons are susceptible to severe, potentially fatal bacterial and fungal infection. And this should make perfect sense to you. Look, neutrophils ka kaam kya hai? When a person is exposed to a bacteria, it enters into the body. The first line of defense, these are the cells which tackle these bacteria, even fungi. Now, if neutrophils are not because neutropenia is not going to So, if there are no neutrophils or reduced number of neutrophils, this person will be infected by literally any bacteria. If simple sa bacteria is in normal conditions, mein, perhaps non pathogenic or not violent, but because the person is immunocompromised, there are less neutrophils, this person will have severe infection. Okay? The risk of infection rises sharply as the neutrophil count goes below 500 cells per mile. So this is the threshold. Agar isse kam cells ho jate hain, the person is screwed. Ab sawal ye uttta hai ke neutrophil count kam kyun hota? So there are multiple explanations to this. So first one for example, decreased granulocyte production. Aapke bone marrow mein kuch aisa garbad hui hai ke neutrophils ban hi nahi rahe. There is production problem. Clinically important reduction in granulopoiesis are most often caused by marrow hypoplasia uh, which can be part of aplastic anemia or any chemotherapy so for example there is a patient with uh, cancer and the person is being treated with chemotherapy you know chemotherapeutic drugs they go and try to hit all the dividing cells of the body including the bone marrow and the bone marrow cells will be suppressed and if the bone marrow is suppressed uh, the production of granulocyte will be affected Okay. Alternatively, neutrophil production may be suppressed while other blood lineages are unaffected. This is most often caused by certain drugs or by non or by neoplastic proliferation of cytotoxic T cells and natural killer cells. So these are very important concepts to understand. The first heading groups everything together which affects the production of neutrophil. It can be because of the primary pathology such as aplastic anemia, just pura bone marrow shut down, hota hai. so red blood cell bhi nahi bante, platelets bhi nahi bante, WBCs bhi nahi bante. It can be because of uh, a chemotherapeutic uh, sequel. It can be because of diseases or drugs, you know, um, or by specific uh, autoimmune antibodies or cells. So, for example, if you read this line, um, you know, certain drugs can cause suppression of granulocytes. Yeah, sometimes, agar aapke T cells mein tumor hai, yani T cells ki neoplastic proliferation hai, ya natural cell uh, killer cells ki neoplastic proliferation hai, then they will also kill the neutrophil production. Okay, so these are all the different causes which will affect the neutrophil production. It can be part of a broader picture, or it can be specifically by some drugs or by some tumors. Secondly, there can be, uh, you know, a scenario that when neutrophils are to theek rahe, but unke baad unke destruction ho rahe. so increased granulocyte destruction. This can be encountered with immune-mediated injury or in overwhelming bacterial, fungal or rickettsial infection resulting from increased peripheral use. So, the neutrophils are being produced, but they are being consumed or destroyed very, very rapidly. And in this condition, obviously, they are sequestered in the spleen, so there will be splenomegaly. So the point is, ki either there are issues with production of the neutrophil, or there are issues with their consumption or destruction. Okay, what do you see clinically if the patients do not have appropriate number of neutrophil? Obviously, they will be more prone to infection. So infections constitute the major problem. They commonly take the form of ulcerating, necrotizing lesions in the gingiva, floor of the mouth, buccal mucosa because you don't have neutrophil. Neutrophils nahi hai, to ye sare bacteria or fungi, oral cavity ko puri body mein kahin bhi they can actually destroy different parts of the body. But if you see a patient with this much severe Severity of uh, lesions in the oral can always think about neutrophil deficiency. Owing to the lack of leukocytes, such lesions often contain large masses or sheet of microorganisms because they proliferate. You can go rock There are no neutrophils. In addition to local inflammation, systemic symptoms usually are presenting. Uh, also, they are also present, uh, including chills, fevers, malaise. These are all symptoms for infection. Because of the danger of sepsis, because neutrophils hai nahi, controlling your infection, the patients are immediately, they have to be started on broad spectrum antibiotics, covering both bacterial as well as fungal infections. And depending on the clinical contacts, patients may also be treated with, uh, this is a very important uh, molecule, uh, granulocyte 
for G colony stimulating factor. Uh, it's a growth factor. अगर एक bone marrow है जिसमें neutrophil के precursors मौजूद हैं but ये divide नहीं हो रहा है. Now what you do is you try to stimulate them. आप एक ऐसा chemical देते हैं जो इन granulocytes की colony को stimulate करता. So this is what is called granulocyte colony stimulating factor. So this factor goes into the body, goes to the bone marrow, tries to upregulate and activate the granulocyte colony so that more and more neutrophils become. Because this whole initial problem is that neutrophils are not being produced appropriately. So you try to increase the production of neutrophils. Okay? Now some morphological features, the alterations in the bone marrow depend on the underlying cause. So for example, हम बात कर रहे हैं कि अगर ग्रेनोसाइट प्रोडक्शन का मसला है तो इट ऑल डिपेंड्स अपॉन व्हाट इज द कॉज इफ देर इज ए प्लास्टिक एनीमिया देन ऑल द सेल लीनेजेस विल बी डाउन ओके सो अल्ट्रेशंस इन द बोन मैरो डिपेंड ऑन द अंडरलाइंग कॉज बेसिकली कॉम्पेंसेटरी मैरो हाइपर सेलुलैरिटी इज सीन व्हेन देयर इज एक्सेसिव न्यूट्रोफिल डिस्ट्रक्शन और इन इफेक्टिव ग्रेनोपोइसिस सो इफ यू सी अ बोन मैरो सो आपके पास एक पेशेंट आया और उस पेशेंट में न्यूट्रो काउंट जो है इट्स डाउन ये कम हुआ हुआ है सो इफ द न्यूट्रोफिल डेफिशिएंसी आप प्रेडिक्ट कर रहे हैं इंफेक्शन है सब चीजें यू डू बोन मैरो टैप और बोन मैरो टैप में आपको ये दिखता है कि जो ग्रेनुलोसाइट कॉलोनी प्रिकर्सेस हैं दे आर एक्चुअली इन अ बिग नंबर देयर इज हाइपर सेलुलैरिटी सो यू वुड थिंक अबाउट कि द प्रॉब्लम क्योंकि यहां बहुत सारे बन रहे हैं बोन मैरो में न्यूट्रोफिल्स लेकिन पेरिफेरल ब्लड में वो नजर नहीं आ रहा है सो इसका मतलब वो कंज्यूम हो रहा है सो द प्रॉब्लम मोर यू नो लाइज विद द कंजम्पशन और डिस्ट्रक्शन Okay, drugs that selectively suppress the granulocytopoiesis are associated with decreased number of granulocyte precursors. So, if you see low number of precursors within the, uh, you know, bone marrow tap, you identify that okay, uh, the problem probably is within the bone marrow. Now, this can be because of drugs, it can be because of aplastic anemia, it can be because of any pathology affecting the bone marrow. Okay, so. Understand the concepts of leukopenia. Leukopenia means decreased WBC count. The decreased WBC count can be because of decreased neutrophils or decreased lymphocytes or decreased mast cells, but the others are less common. The more common is neutrophil deficiency or agranulocytosis. Always think about a patient who presents to you with severe fever, unexplained rashes and bacterial and fungal infections. Do the CBC. Try to look at the WBC count. If the WBCs may granulocytes are particularly down, think about what is the cause. Is it the production problem or is it the consumption problem? And treat the patient accordingly. Okay. So that's all that you have to remember about leukopenias. Next, I will hit on reactive leukocytosis in another video. Take care of yourself. My name is Professor Asif Qureshi and you are watching Dr. Asif Lectures.